Hello and welcome to today's short video. Now as you saw yesterday we used carpet powder on the mat that you can see. Now after I'd vacuumed it with the auric and then the shark, the shark showed that there was still powder coming out. Now well I didn't get it on video because I've been quite sick this morning. Uh, Around 8am I gave another go with the shark on this and I still picked up about half a handful's worth of powder which given the size of the mat still quite a lot. Now earlier on today I asked my husband to help me rejig um, my machines because for quite some time my Kirby Legend has been serving well just with its hose. It's a legend too um, and comes without the power drive, the tech drive, although it doesn't need it as you'll see. So I now have a Kirby G6 taking up the, the corner post for using the hose and I just want to show how well the Kirby deals with powder. I am hoping it goes to plan because if it doesn't I'll look a bit daft. So the idea is that I'm going to vacuum with the Kirby on this mat and after I've done that we'll take the shark back out for a spin and see what we've got. Now I've cleaned the shark out as best I can. There's, it is empty um, as I'll show you. There's still some powder coat in the face but I can't quite get in but I'm planning to clean it all out anyway so I'm not too bothered it's a bit dusty down the face of it on the inside. Now as you'll see when I turn this on this is a powerful beast of a machine. You almost have to wrangle it because if you don't hold on to it it runs away and I'll show you that just now. So holding on just with the cable turn it on oh excuse me a minute that's this other party trick and we're back with the mat not looking too bad after being eaten by the carpet so i think that shows the power of this machine one, it will run about your hand if you don't hold on to it. Two, it's quite happy to eat my small oil mat. However, let's get to what the plan is and actually give this a proper vacuum with the Kirby. Now the Kirby is all set up using the pedals. It's set number four, which I'd previously worked out. As it is, you normally use the pedals to tap up till you get a change in the tone. I'll bring it down. This one is very difficult to hear the change because it's a noisy bugger. But we'll give it a try. So let's turn it on. And there you go. I don't know if you could see it being pulled off. Possibly not because it wasn't a shot. Anyway, enough talking, let's get back to the vacuuming.
from the carpet. So out of gear and you're leaving it lying. So I've now been over that quite a lot with this carpet. Now we're going to see how the shark feels. It feels even. Right, back in a spot, shark on. And so oops. Hopefully that's visible to show that the bin's empty. I know it's not the best angle, but we work with what we have. And now let's give this a good quick going over since it's dinner time soon. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that and that is not powder that it lifted. I think it's carpet fibres. That's it. There. What it lifted. Can you see? No powder. This fluff from the carpet that's came up. Now that is amazing. It's the power of the carpet that just really deep cleans your carpet. There's a few others that can beat it in the jobs that it does. Now it is a very big clunky machine. They do weigh quite a bit, so they're not best for carrying up and down stairs. But they are beasts. They will deep clean your home. And without the carpet on that mat, I would have expected to see powder coming off of it. For even up to a week. But that's it you saw there. A couple back and forth with the carpet. And... Pretty much cured. Now let it do another carpet with a noisy hose to lift what was there. <laughs>
brush down and that junior there. So yes, the carpet is now clean. So going by yesterday's video, if you are somebody who wants to spend their time using carpet powder, then the best thing you could do is buy a Kirby. Use it for that. There's many Kirby um, service agents all around. Who once the machine's buggered up with powder, could potentially fix it. Now I will say, do not buy a Kirby brand new. Kirby is a MLM scheme, multi-level marketing scheme, kind of. I'm not as sure about the recruitment process because it's not as widely spread here. Though clearly since I own one, two, four Kirby's, yeah, four Kirby's, there obviously are salespeople in my area. Um, not that I've seen a huge amount of the new ones for sale, but there is a a relatively steady marketplace for the old ones, uh, mainly the G series, less so the likes of this one. The, that's the Legend 2. Is that a better position? Yeah. Give me something to look at while I prattle away. So yes, you don't find these as commonly, as I said, same with the Heritage, but you will find a lot of G-Series. The thing with the Kirby is there's very little changes between each um, series of them. They release a new one every year, maybe every other year. I don't keep track. Um, and certainly for the G-Series, I have a, a 5, a 6 and a 7. Seven's currently dead, um, but they're all the same. All of the tools you get are pretty much the same. There's two brush heads, there's some shampoo kit, the tool caddy. Um, buying a new one, there's very minor changes, and when you can pick up an older Kirby for say between 50 to 100 pounds, and reasonable neck with all its tools. You're far better going down that route. Because if you want to buy it new, a salesman will come to your house. Now you can search on YouTube because there's people going into great detail um, about the sales technique and what's happened. And obviously I haven't actually had somebody try to sell me one. But they will come into your house. They'll show you how dirty your carpet is. Um, by using a dirt meter that they'll attach instead of the bag. And yes, the Kirby will be picking up far more than your normal cleaner. It's, it's a very good machine. It's a machine that can do so many things. It's an inspector gadget of the vacuum world. These Kirby's are sanders and polishers. I don't know how many people use them for all of those things. But they can do them. But yeah, um, I think Avalier 2 is the current new one. Correct me if I'm wrong. And the salesman will come in and charge you, or start offers, at around maybe 1500 to £2,000. From what I've heard, it's a very hard sell and you will struggle to get them out of the house once they've been in. Obviously, that depends on the salesman or woman who's doing it. And they'll maybe shampoo a bit of your carpet. And that's often how they hook people in by saying that they'll offer a free shampoo of your carpet. They're only going to do a patch. I mean, you're going to have to do the rest of it yourself if you want your carpet to match. And you can talk them down and it seems to be a very weary process. And that many people have got them for, say, 900 brand new. I think that's one of the lower prices that I said. I've heard, sorry. A lot of seem to end up between the 1000 and 1500 mark. 
and it's the salesman's discretion as to what you get because he's got to buy the machine first and I think if I remember correctly and this might be in dollars but it's about 500 for the machine then anything on top of that is his profit or her profit now I am a great lover of Kirby's they have such a beautiful retro design about them they are workhorses they will work till the bag is full to the top I really can properly voice my love for these machines and I do tell people to get one because if you can find one cheap and you really want to deep clean your house this is it and it's cheaper second hand than all the big names and it'll do a better job than your shark It'll do a better job than your Dyson. And it won't cost as much. And they don't seem to break as much. Now I'm saying that with the knowledge that one of mine is currently dead. However, the others are fine and working. Everything seems to be interchangeable. You've seen the hoses in use. All the tools are the same, just in different colours depending on what one they come out. Same with the hose, you might have noticed a black hose I'm using today. And previously it was a red hose because it was the Legend 2's nose that it was coming out of. So yeah, <laughs> unexpected Kirby um, video here when I'm talking about powder. But I can't rate them high enough. And if you have, you see one for sale and you have the money spare, you won't regret it. They are heavy, they are bulky. But once some use, you saw how much that one ran away from me. If you buy a younger model, um, the Generation series, what do I think starts at four? But any of them really, they have a tech drive. Now the tech drive is a paddle on the rear of the machine which allows you to have it in neutral which is just your normal vacuum and thing. Some folk find it quite heavy. I don't, I find it alright. But tech drive, it just zips about like mad. And it's almost weightless. It's not quite the same wrangling that this one does, but it just glides about. So as long as you don't have to manoeuvre it in sort of tight confines where its bulk and weight becomes a problem, these are masters at doing your carpets. And you really can't go wrong with one of these. They're good to have in the cupboard just to bring out maybe once a month and do a big deep clean using it. And you'll see the difference. I mean, I certainly do. I've got one downstairs. Um, I've actually got four vacuums that I use downstairs. I have a G5 Kirby, a Cebo X4, which mainly does the stairs because of the massive hose it came with. I've got my Mila because it's beautiful to use and I have my older shark and um, the one that I bought second hand so yeah that's what I feel is my four top machines that are down there and I'd certainly say if you're looking for the ability to make your carpet as clean as possible pick up one of these guys and if you're convinced that you have to use carpet powders then these guys make it easy for you without worrying anyway I better go that seems to be a cat trying to dig its way into the room take care bye oh here she is might let her go on camera hello poppy are you going to be in camera? You have to come in a bit further, baby. This is Poppy.
recognisable from my avatar and banner. And she's quite a lover of vacuums. She likes watching but I generally don't have her in when I'm filming. So as you can see, she just gets naughty. Now she's not seen this for a while because it's been in the corner. What's that, Poppy? Is that the legend? Well, you've been filmed. You want to say goodbye? Bye, Poppy. You're not convinced. You're on camera, Poppy. Well, kinda. What's been going on? Are you having fun? Alright, you want to say goodbye to the good people of YouTube? Right, bye!